and welcome back to another video if you guys are new here my name is tanisha and i own my own small business called designs by tanisha renee if you want to check that out i'll be sure to link that in the description box below so today's project is going to be a sublimation product project and if you have a sublimation printer and you looking to do a new project or you looking to do something unique with it then follow along with me as i do this for the first time so today's um, project is going to be a sublimated bonnet um you don't have to do necessary this project but if you wanted to try it on some poly satin maybe you want to make a pillowcase or something of that sort here is how it comes out the material that i use is poly satin it's 100 percent polyester and i get it from hobby lobby and this satin is oh my god it feels so good and it's great against the skin i've been using it um, since I started making my bron my bonnets, this is my embroidered bonnets that I start that I started with, and this is how my appliques look. The stitching is very good because the poly satin is like a, I think a medium weight uh, fabric, so it really holds my stitches. But I wanted to do something quick because I have a high demand for embroidered bonnets, and it takes me um, a minute to do those and so i was like okay well let me create something that i could just do really quick and the processing time wouldn't be as long as the embroidered bonnets um so this is one that i did that i'll be showing you guys how i did in the video and i tried it on the dark fabric earlier and this is how it came out as you can see the colors are tinted and it didn't show good so i'm going to stick to the light colors like a light purple a light blue and um all of those colors i also tried this earlier as well and as you can see it came out perfect on the white material like i knew it would but um all of the colors are showing really really pretty and so yeah i'm pleased with it um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into this video. If you guys have any questions, please look in the, um, in the comments. Okay guys, so to start off, I want to go to, um, Canva. Um, this is where I do most of all of my designs, um, with the sublimation printer. So I'm going to go over here to create design and I'm going to do custom dimensions. Um, I don't pretty I don't know how what's the size of the paper for um, the Epson sublimation printer but for my sawgrass I have a eight by five at eight eight and a half by eleven so um, I'm gonna click that and then it's gonna pull up this custom sheet um, that's the size of my paper so what I want to do is go to uploads and um, you can purchase well where i purchase my designs from is etsy most of them or you can find if you want to find a picture on google then that's fine too but um whatever you want to sublimate then you're going to upload it to your canva account and i'm going to go over here and so it's uploading again i'm so sorry about the um the quality of this laptop guys but work with me okay so I'm going to select this picture okay I don't need to okay what is oh it gave me way too many okay so um so you can either leave this picture how it is if you want if you don't want to do any customizations or you could um so I'm gonna make it big first um, depending on what size garment you do it you can make it um whatever size you want to but in this case um, I'm making my daughter Riley a new bonnet and I'm gonna do it about a six let's say six by four um, I could go a little bigger okay you're welcome to leave this um as is if you don't want to add any text or any designs in the back of it or anything else okay so i'm just gonna go to heading 
and I'm gonna select the font um, I love this playlist strip um, I do have um, I do have the pro um, that's up to you if you want to get it you could keep the basic and um, it comes with fonts and things as well so I'm going to just type her name probably need to make it a different color than white okay I'm gonna go with her favorite color pink and so I'm gonna go ahead and size this like I said you could size it however you want how big you want this is up to you right, guys. guys PNG okay so once it downloads it's gonna bring you to a um, your downloaded screen and so like I said depending on what sublimation printer you use it's going to be different steps for different ones so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click print and instead of printing directly to my printer I'm going to print to my sawgrass print manager and I'm just going to hit print now um, I don't know how it is for the Epson or any other um, sublimation printer but with the sawgrass software it's going to um, pop up and that's how I edit the design to go to the printer okay so um, your print manager should pop up if you're using a sawgrass and so you're gonna um, select what material you're, um, you're using your prints for and I'm gonna click polyester and this is the paper that I'm using the text print slash R and it has a couple of other um, papers as well so here's that mirror option and you want to make sure you're um, mirroring mirroring your print because it's going directly on it and you do not want it backwards if you were using easy subly which I would do a video on how I do that then you don't need to um, mirror it so um, pretty much all of my settings are always set um, the color that I'm using is vivid because I want my colors to pop and these options you just wanna if you wanted to make more than one copy or change the width or height or anything you'll go here and so now that everything is finished, I'm going to click print. Cause those hands and lights can't stop me. I just hold on for dear life. Okay guys, so I got my print. Um, it did take about two to three minutes, like it is hella slow. So this is how the print looks. Um, it came out beautifully. So you have the option, you could cut the um, excess parts that you don't need or you could leave it like that. It's not gonna transfer onto the paper. Only thing that's gonna, tra I mean, I'm sorry. It's not gonna transfer onto the garment that you're using. It's um, just gonna do be a white border.
final product and it is beautiful my daughter is going to love it um like i said you could customize these however you want it um if you have an epson you might want to follow the steps on how to do that i'm really i'm really not too familiar with that sublimation machine but i do have a sawgrass and i'll be sure to link where i got that from in the description box below too but yeah this is how it looks on that side which is reversible if you just wanted the plane and this is how it looks on this side so like I said I'm pleased with how it turned out if you guys have any questions please don't please feel free to ask me I don't mind and I'm going to do a detailed video on how I make my bonnets and um, how I put my elastic and all of that so be on the lookout for that um, but that's it you guys and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you